welcome back to my channel. This is another mixed media layout I am doing for the Click Kit design team. Now I'm starting off with the paper that's called Impossible. That was the one that you saw me cut off the branding strip. It's the one on the opposite side that has like the mixed media background and it's foiled with um, um, Possible. I think it's what it said in gold foil. But I decided to use the back of it with this lovely light pink polka dot and I almost wanted to enhance it a little bit more. So I made this stencil a while ago and used it pretty much in the same fashion. Um, I did it on my cameo. It's just a polka dot pattern and I'm using Shimmer's Pucker Up Dazzlers, Pucker Up Pink Dazzlers and I'm doing random spots where I want to feel it, make it feel like it was confetti, so a little bit more of a hot pink on top of it. Then I had the idea of let me relay it down on my sheet without messing up what I did, and then in the opposite spots where I skipped, I'm going to put heavy 3D gloss gel from Finnabar Art Basics. So this one's a heavier gloss gel, and my go-to technique is always adding glitter on top of gloss gel. So here I am just smearing in some gloss gel the same way modeling paste or any other kind of um, medium that you would use with the stencil. And now I'm going to go in with some glitter. The glitter I'm using is from the, what is it, the Scrapbook Expo. It's called um, sparkleandsprinkle.com. And I got a tube worth of all these fantastic glitters. And for this one, I am using Movulus, which is like a holographic, color and pink inside of it so it's really fun actually and so I'm just on pink on pink on pink for this layout <laughs> so it's very monotoned um, but at least it gives you a kind of a starting off point since I wanted to use this polka dot and don't get me wrong the background the back of this one is great and I've seen great projects done with it but I didn't want to push myself because I I don't know I just didn't feel like I could pull off the other side for some reason this time. So then I wanted to use the cut apart page and the cut apart page is called Daily Details and these are both from the Make Your Mark collection by Bella Boulevard. And so I love the break the rules um, square and the ones that say like BU and everything else. I am scrapping a picture I did um, some outfit ideas for my business with LuLaRoe. I am a consultant and so this was one of like the outfit styling pictures I did and I couldn't choose just one so I used one of the, our apps and collaged them all together. Um, but pretty much the theme of it all is like break the rules. I love the ephemera that I use that says like, you know, if it doesn't scare you, um, you know, don't do it. And I love like these empowering kind of mantras um, because that's kind of like the leap of faith you have to also have like in yourself and the leap of faith that I did. Um, to think that I could do something like LuLaRoe, which has been going well um, since November. So I just like the theme. So see how it says, like, do what scares you. Um, it says, you are the best, love yourself. Um, and then whatever you do, make sure it makes you happy is the other one that reads right there. So like I said, all these positive affirmations, so they're really good. And I've been having really good time doing LuLaRoe as well as on my scrapbooking for it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, back to the layout though the dazzlers and the gel do take some time to dry so give it some time if you try this technique at home um, and then I'm using all the little ephemera packs that are left over now I have one more layout to do with this kit so I'm trying to split what I have left over evenly so I have enough for the other layout as well but I definitely took advantage of all the florals from the ephemera pack that you get in this month's April kit for jelly bean um, all the florals because my other layout that I already started has a lot of the blues and the aquas and the and the greens, so the flowers didn't go well. So I was able to kind of go nuts um, with the florals for this one. So I'm using um, double-sided tape. I have a I have tons of rolls of these, but I always reach for my ATG guns. But I'm trying to use up some of my supplies before I buy more tape for my gun because otherwise this tape roll will just sit around forever so, so I know like some uh, scrapbookers love it um, I know Inky Quill uses it a lot and stuff too so I'm just trying to you know run, run through my stash of it as well so here I am doing just the layering process of tucking things in I cut that flower out of that um, magnifique paper I used on one of the layouts earlier this month um, a doily I used and then all of the little um, florals now um what else do I do so I do um 
add some of the freckled fawn enamel shapes um, off camera. So in the final pictures, you'll see that come um, true with some of the hexagon and enamel dots, just to add a little bit more texture and details to uh, the layout. Then I go in with the flare buttons that are also available in the kit. I also have the April flare add-ons. So I like adding the flare a lot, and I also like having it sit on a bed of uh, tangled thread. So that's what I'm doing right now as well. And then we also got the work, the phrases from Freckled Fawn. They're in black cursive, and I love some of the words that are in there too. So I do take about three of them to incorporate a little bit more black to the layout. I use the word happy, hope, and create. So here's the create going down. Uh, oh no, it's not happy, it's wish. Ha create, wish, and hope. So again, just this positive, enlightening moment that I'm having. Um, with everything, you know, anything that scares you is always kind of worth it. Um, even if it's, you know, doing design teamwork, you know, I, I apply all the time and, you know, you have to take rejection once in a while. So just always staying positive with yourself. So I really do like this collection very much that Bella Boulevard came out with. Um, I take some India black ink as well, and I'll be doing some splatters just to add a little bit more black for some contrast to my layout. And those hearts are also from Freckled Fawn. And I think that wraps up my layout. Um, I want to say yes. <laughs> I spilled glue at this point, too, on um, the rest of my ephemera. I was cleaning it up with the baby wipe. <laughs> and, yeah, so this is I also, yeah, like I said, um, taking some splatters. All right, so if you haven't um, given this video a thumbs up, please do so. Please subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.